but in the pan it goes. Howdy folks and welcome to Hirschberger's Miracle Homestead. I am Martha and sweet potato souffle is on the agenda today. And we have to get sweet potato softened so we can mash them for the souffle. There's one of two ways you can do it. You can peel them and cut them in cubes and cook them on the stove and then drain the water and mash them. Or you can do it as a baked potato. And we're going to bake them in the oven, but we're not going to individually wrap them. We have a big pan here and I put foil over the whole pan, sides and everything. So no liquid can get under the foil because that can make a mess too. So what I'm going to do is just put the sweet potatoes in here. Now this is a heavy duty foil. Now I have another piece of heavy duty foil here. We'll just snugly wrap it up. Okay, the oven is preheated to 350 and we will bake them for about an hour and a half. You can start checking them. It might take a little bit longer, but just bake them until they're soft. And then we will show it from there. Okie dokie, the sweet potatoes are done and we are coming in with a mixer now. This worked out perfect to bake them in the pan like this. And now what we need to do is take the peeling off. Let me back the mixer up. Come in with a bowl. Let me pick out two to eat as a sweet potato. Um, there we go. We're going to keep those back. And now we'll just take the peel off. Throw them in the mixer and mix them up. It's obviously been out of the oven for a few minutes because I could not do this straight from the oven. So it has cooled down some. Now this foil can just pick up right out of here. And now there's no major mess in here. And I'll be using the whip. Then we'll measure what we have, make sure it's enough for the souffle before we let go of the two potatoes I put back there. So let's turn it on and get it whipped up. We're gonna measure this out. We need four cups. Okie dokie folks, that is four cups on the money. So I can let those other two that we can eat later. It'll probably be tomorrow before I make this. So I can leave it right in here and after it's cooled down, put the lid on and tuck it away in the refrigerator. It's so handy, measuring cup with the lid that goes in the refrigerator. Sweet potato souffle, an all time favorite of ours around our Christmas gatherings. So we will hop right into the ingredients and then get started. The ingredients we'll need for the sweet potato souffle are canned milk, we'll use the pet evaporated milk, light brown sugar, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, exit room temperature, a half a stick of butter or margarine, and the star of the dish is the mashed sweet potatoes. And we were together when we baked them and mashed them. And then they sat in the refrigerator, I had the lid that fits this measuring cup and they were in the refrigerator for a couple days and I pulled it out and it's got room temperature and we're ready to go. And then on this side is the topping, which is chopped nuts, all-purpose flour, light brown sugar, and the other half of butter or margarine. So with that, we will get started. First of all, welcome all the new subscribers. We hope you enjoy the YouTube family here and the community and just be a part of us. We'll be using the KitchenAid mixer, the paddle attachment. 
just so I don't spill anything, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and dump the eggs in the mixer because you're supposed to whip it just a little bit before you add the rest of the stuff. Okie dokie, we will give the eggs a light mix. Now we'll go ahead and add the rest of the things that go in the souffle itself. Not the topping, but the souffle. So, the canned milk, vanilla extract, ground cinnamon, brown sugar, a half a stick here, We'll put it in the microwave and melt it. That was room temperature and it didn't take long at all. I am going to pull this off. Just put this in. And last but not least in this mixer goes the sweet potatoes. And I do not want to splash. And mix it all together. Let me give it a good scrape down. Okie dokie, just like that, it is done. We're going to use a 9 by 13 pan, and I did grease it. So, in the pan it goes. Pull in a little mixing bowl for this. Dump the all-purpose flour, brown sugar, and the chopped nuts. Mix this up good. And as you have know by now, we will not have that marshmallow topping. This is a topping with featuring nuts and brown sugar. Now we need the other half of the butter or margarine, whichever one you prefer using. We want to melt it. So in with the butter or margarine to complete the topping. Give this a good stir. I might end up getting in there with my hand yet, I don't know. In with my hand I'm going. And you probably guessed where this goes, and you are correct if you thought it goes on top of the sweet potatoes here. Try to evenly distribute it across the sweet potatoes. Our temps outside tonight, it's supposed to get down in the 20s. Depending where you're from, that's not cold at all to you. And depending where you're from, why, oh, that's cold. But I say it's cold. We don't have a lot of cold, cold weather like that. So when it dips down and you have to watch, prepare your water pipes for freezing against freezing and all, why, yeah, you take notice of it and do what you need to do. Okay. The oven is preheated to 350 and it bakes for an hour. And by the way, thank you also for those who have liked and commented our videos. That also helps our channel to grow. So it's always exciting too. In the video that came out today with the bubble up pizza, I had mentioned about the walk through Bethlehem. I got permission to do some recording. So my plans are for a special video for Christmas that will include clips from the walk through Bethlehem. That will get me out of my comfort zone because usually all the recording is done right here. And there I'll be among many people. 
It will definitely get me out of my comfort zone, but I want to do it so we can have a special video and spend time together with you all in Bethlehem. It's time to get this in the oven. Sweet potato souffle. It smells so good. But we aren't going to get in it right now. It's dark 30 and we'll actually eat it later. But we will show you how the inside looks and show you a piece. I want to thank you for joining me on the episode today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you all make a sweet potato souffle with a nut topping on it, I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. The written recipe is in the description box. Now we invite you to stay tuned for the Golden Thought. Howdy folks and welcome to the Golden Thought of this episode. We are the twins Marvin and Martha. Marvin is better known as Buddy. And Buddy has always been a very special part of our family. We love him very much. And he loves us. The Golden Thought for today. Peace is not the absence of problems, but the presence of God. I think it's a no-brainer to know that as long as we're on this earth and have breath in our body, there will be problems around us. And yet, we as God's children can have that deep peace that no other can experience that doesn't know God. When troubles are around us, we can know that we are in God's hands and have a peace. That doesn't mean that life will always be rosy for us and that we won't suffer. But Jesus himself suffered. So why would I think I'm good enough to not to have to suffer? But in the midst of the problems, we can have that deep, sweet peace. Again, the golden thought. Peace is not the absence of problems, but the presence of God. May God bless you on your journey in life. We thank you for joining us today. Hope you've been blessed and inspired. And with that, we'll bring this episode to a close. We thank you. And until next time, God bless.